Ever since I was little, I loved riding my bike around town and exploring new places. When I was 12, I finally convinced my parents to let me start riding my bike to school on my own. It made me feel so free and grown up. For weeks, I happily pedaled the two miles to school, taking in the crisp fall air. One morning in late September, I set out a little later than normal. I remember I was in a great mood that day, singing to myself as I rode past the colorful trees and quiet streets. About halfway to school, I approached an intersection where a white pickup truck was stopped at the stop sign. As I got closer, the truck suddenly lurched forward, cutting me off. My heart jumped as I slammed on my brakes, skidding to a halt just in time. As I caught my breath, the truck door flung open and a disheveled, wild-eyed man jumped out. He started shouting and gesturing aggressively at me. I was completely stunned, unsure what to do. As the man stumbled toward me, I saw he had something in his hand. It looked like a crowbar or tire iron. Panic flooded my system. I turned my bike around and started pedaling as hard as I could. The man chased after me, yelling obscenities. I could hear his heavy footsteps gaining on me. My legs burned as I pedaled faster than I ever had before. My lungs screamed for air, but I didn't dare stop. As I approached a busy cross street, I shot a glance back. The man was still pursuing me, his weapon raised to strike. Adrenaline powered my final sprint across the intersection just as the light turned red. I heard horns blaring and the screech of tires as the man followed me into traffic. By some miracle, I made it to the other side unharmed. I pedaled all the way to school without looking back, nearly collapsing with relief once inside the gates. I never took that route again, too shaken by the deranged man with the wild look in his eyes who tried to attack me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy scary stories, please subscribe to my channel and stay around.